Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Edu Data Factory Master Program video series. So in today's session, we will talk about deep dive into linked service in the Azure Data Factory. So Azure Data a linked service is one of the main component in the Azure Data Factory. So we will discuss all about the linked service. Let's quickly start with what is linked service, right? So in Azure Data Factory, a linked service is a configuration that defines the connection information to an external data source or destination. Let's say if you want to access any uh, files or any mob, any photos from your mobile, so you are also basically use the thumb recognition, face recognition, or pin or pattern, right? Similarly, if you like look at your home, right? If you want to enter into your home, you will put this some uh, key. So using that key, you are going to enter by opening the main door. You will enter into your home. Similarly, anywhere you are putting your data, like storages or databases, if you want to access such type of uh, databases or storages. You must have to have some authentication. Everybody should not go and access the data that you have stored in the storage, right? So that's why what happens if you want to move data from one source system to another source system. First, you need to know how to connect to that particular source system to read the data, how to connect to the sync, uh, like whatever target uh, source system is there, how to how we can able to connect to the target system so that we can able to uh, load the data into the target right so the connection is important which basically do lot of other things i'll discuss what all things linked service can able to do in a uh, very soon okay a linked service holds the necessary connection information what all things it will hold necessary information means it will hold the server address if you are connecting to the any database authentication credentials like it can be uh, any access keys or username password all those things like access keys Connection strings. Connection strings will have the server name, database name, port number, username, and password, all those things, right? So, in other parameters uh, needed to establish the connection to the data source or destination, other parameter means in the linked service, we will choose the type of integration runtime based on the environment. In our previous sessions, we have discussed based on the environment what type of IR we need to use. So other parameters in the linked service which we are going to choose is the name of the linked service, the integration runtime, the type of IR we need to choose, then authentication uh, credentials like based on different authentication uh, methods we can use to authenticate with each uh, each source, okay, or each destination. As we discussed in real time, also if you see multi-factor authentication, we have a uh, Microsoft Authenticator app we can use to authenticate. We can uh, expect a call, we can expect a text message with the code, right? So all these are the different authentication methods you will see in the real time. So as I mentioned, in your mobile also you have different authentication methods. Similarly, whenever you are connecting to any source or destination, we will have different authentication methods to connect. Okay, remember. So linked service sub, like uh, supports following category of source. It supports the Azure services, file services, databases, including SQL and no SQL databases, protocols and services, and it supports some applications directly. It can connect and get the data. Okay, it can connect to the compute services. What are the different uh, source systems which are existed uh, in each category? I, we will discuss in this particular session. Okay. So the key features of the linked service if you see so secure authentication. So why you need secure authentication because uh, to link to the service supports the like this particular linked service uh, supports the different authentication methods such as OAuth authentication method managed identity username and password service principal and others. Okay. So basically the managed identity will not have any keys. Um, basically you are just uh, adding the uh, key vault in the data factory so that the data factory directly can access anything from the key vault based on the role you have granted. Username and password means based on the username and password whatever role that they have given the access whatever permissions they have granted for that particular user those many uh, things you can do meaning only read or write or delete. Service principle. Service principle is again basically uses the Azure Active Directory authentication to control the uh, security things. 
right so these methods basically helps to ensure secure and authorized access to the data sources or destination if you want to access any data source or destination we can able to use this particular secure authentication next these are the different authentication we can do next once you create a linked service we can uh, just validate this connection right so before using a linked service in a pipeline we can validate the connection to ensure that the provided connection information is correct and the connection can be successfully established so just to make sure the given details are correct so what we need to do is we need to uh, validate the created connection next reusability so if you see linked service promotes reusability across your data factory pipelines instead of duplicating the connection information in each pipeline we can define a linked service once and then reference it in a multiple pipelines meaning we no need to create uh, multiple uh, linked services or uh, multiple connections to our source or destination because the, that particular source is used in 10 pipeline means we no need to create a 10 linked services same linked service we can able to reuse in all the pipelines sense to information some connection parameters might include sense to information like passwords or access keys right so for that what we can do is we can securely store them in the azure key vault from the azure key vault we can able to access them azure key vault is a azure managed service which basically helps to securely store your credentials and you can able to your azure data factor databricks securely access those things from the key vault instead of hard coding them within the linked services dynamic parameter basically if you want to use a linked service uh, uh, with uh, different uh, values let's say within a server i have a 10 databases i want to connect to the 10 databases from the same server you can pass the database names uh, dynamically and you can connect to all of those things uh, dynamically meaning with a single uh, linked service we can connect to all the 10 databases with the help of the dynamic parameters linked service can also accept the dynamic parameters allowing you to parameterize the connection properties this can be particularly useful when you need to use different set of connection information based on the factors like environment or time or based on the data like database right so based on all these things you can able to pass different values and establish the connection okay now category by uh, the type of uh, data source right if you see azure services like we have azure blob data lake data like gen 2 sql database all these things databases if you see sql server oracle mysql postgres mongo and cassandra so mongo cassandra these things basically no sql we can say protocols and services it supports the http rest soap rest apis protocols file services if you look at file system let's say you have c drive in your system you can connect ftp servers sftp servers okay file transfer protocols you can able to use these are called a file systems okay applications and data sources if you see you can connect to the salesforce applications you can connect to the dynamic 365 application teradata sap bw image on redshift is basically a database it's a data warehouse okay google bigquery it's a data warehouse you can connect and get that data similarly computes right so to run the data transformation we have machine learning we have data bricks azure h inside data lake analytics azure functions azure batch so all of these things we can able to connect from the azure data factory by using the linked services all these things are supported okay let's quickly do for uh, the five minutes we'll do the lab then we will discuss some summary questions that i have okay let me move on to the portal okay come here so just go to portal.azure.com login into the cloud pundit at the gmail.com now i will create a two things one is a blob storage and then data factory we will see how to create a connection to the blob storage from the data factory okay we already discussed what is blob storage what are the types of blobs and all how to create blob please watch my previous videos so this is a subscription i am creating one resource group called cloud pundit iphone dev iphone rg click ok then you can say storage account name cloud pandit blob0908 then click review plus create running final validation create it come to second tab again open a one more tab 
portal.azure.com login into your cloud pundit at the gmail.com go to data factory let's create the data factory okay create data factory so same subscription same resource group you can create now cloud pundit adf v2 0908 you can use the name of the data factory then click review plus create so we also discussed different ways to create the data factory what are the prerequisites to create the data factory please go and watch my previous videos to understand the dependency things which is required to create the data factory team. okay so if you look at the storage account we have storage account is ready what is our storage account name our storage account name is cloud pandit blob 0908 okay we will see different ways how we can able to connect to this particular blob storage okay so come to the data factory if you see data factory is also ready go to resource come down launch studio to open the azure data factory if you look at the azure data factory now it is opening right it is open so the first thing to create a linked service we need to go to manage tab in the manage tab we have a linked service click new linked service okay here as we discussed in the ppt's we have azure type database type file type generic protocol no sql okay services and the applications then we have a compute table if you see compute okay we have all these things different sources that you can connect but let's say for now i want to connect to the blob what you can do search for the blob stores go to all and search for blob when you search for blob it will come select it you can use the naming convention is ls linker service for blob is it a generic connection yes it's a generic connection i am using the integration runtime the as it is a azure type i can use the existing azure integration runtime it is a public service right next so as i mentioned different authentication methods you can use any of these authentication methods so i'll be using account key for this particular linker service and to store the keys and all we can use the azure key vault that session i will explain in the uh, future so how to integrate this linked service with key vault but if you see in the connection string you can choose the subscription this is subscription under that you can choose the storage account this is our storage account when i cho choose in the storage account if you see the key is loading right key is loaded loading key so key will be loaded automatically if you are using the account key authentication method okay connection successful this is instead of saying uh, generic i'll say this is account key authentication method way i connected this so once the testing connection is completed you can create it okay so what are the other ways we can connect to the blob okay let's say click new so same blob storage click azure blob so i am saying this is ls blob for sas authentication okay sas auth come here you see sas uri okay the second authentication method you can use same ir azure ir sas url and sas token we need to put it how to get them you can go to the storage go to shared access signature sas okay here uh, so you can see like what you want i want to yellow and test service all the containers all the objects should have a full permission read write delete listing okay this particular keys are basically i am keeping available for the next six hours okay so the like access is expired this keys will be expired in at 5 27 pm meaning in next five hours not five hours sorry it is next eight hours right in next eight hours it will be expired so just click generate sas connection string once it once you click on that you see sas token this is a sas token this is what you need to store it in the key vault for better security so for now you can just hard code that here sas token sas url how to get the sas url if you see here from here to here whatever is there that is a sas url copy this put that particular sas url here now test the connection the connection will be successful see connection successful 
this way also we can able to authenticate like that we have other authentication methods also we can able to connect so we will see in the future all the ways how we can able to connect to the blob storage okay okay so let's quickly go through the summary questions that we have okay now uh, before we close for today's session okay summary what is the primary purpose of linked service in azure data factory right so configuring the connection information the answer c is correct which of the following is not a type of data source category supported by linked service in azure data factory azure services file services protocol services and linked service linked service category is itself not available so option a is correct so we have a category of azure service file service protocols and services which feature of linked service ensures that only authorized access is allowed to the data source or destination which feature of linked service secure authentication okay secure authentication will authenticate and allows the right people with the right access okay the option b is uh, option b is correct how does azure data factory promote reusability using the linked service by using by allowing duplicate linked service no by embedding connection information in each pipe no by defining linked service once and referring them in a multiple pipelines yes the answer c is correct by defining a linked service once and referring them in the multiple pipelines the answer c is correct which approach is used to securely manage sensitive information like passwords access keys in linked service storing sensitive information plain text within the linked service no using key vault to store and retrieve retrieve sensitive information yes the answer b is correct we no need to look at the c and d what purpose does connection validation serve the context of linked service what is the use of testing the connection it validate the syntax of the connection string no it validate the performance of the data source no it validate whether the data source or destination can handle the pipeline load no it validate the correctness of the provided provided connection information the answer d is correct okay it validate the correctness of the provided connection information next how can linked service accommodate variations in connection information based on different scenarios by creating the parameters by using the parameterized connection properties using the dynamic parameter the answer c is correct team so using the parameters by passing the dynamic values we can able to uh, we can able to uh, establish the connection okay yeah so that's all uh, for today team if you have any questions please feel free to put it your questions in the chat window or uh, sorry comment session i'll uh, respond for all your questions thanks for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and support me to do more videos thank you